What the fuck is up? Get some motherfucking music going. Told you I'll be back for another fucking MLB today. Precision and motherfucking accuracy. Billy the D did Colt the 45, did malt the motherfucking liquor. We'll enjoy this motherfucker with the label out. It will be refreshing and delicious. And that's how the fuck we do it around here. in here painting this motherfucking room on my motherfucking day off patching some holes and shit like that getting ready to get into this paint to transform this room been listening to a bunch of music been catching up on a bunch of videos turn this shit down little Waylon Jennings Fuck. And while I've been <laughs> catching up on videos, I've noticed a couple things. Not only are people begging, wishing for shout outs, trying to get some motherfucking notoriety, but we've also got a bunch of scumbags trying to build their channels by attaching themselves to other more well-known channels, you know, not just in the MLBC. I mean, you got the Minstrel Moron, the Flabby Arm Faggot, you know, he's got a, quite a bit of subscribers, but he's trying to get on the coattails of fucking Shoe Nice, you know, trying to pick a fight with him to get people from, you know, some of his 500,000 subscribers to come over and watch his bullshit. You know, then you also got other people like Reggie Steele's trying to start fights with other well-known MLDC drinking people. You know what I mean? And uh, trying to get his name made. And uh, it's just, it's, it's bullshit. You know what I mean? Just make the videos. Drink the fucking malt liquor. Talk a little bit of shit. And get the fuck out of here. You know? Make a few minute video. Let's talk about drinking these motherfucking malts. Talk about how delicious they are. How refreshing they are. And get out of here. Don't try to get on somebody else's coattails. You know, had I come into the MLDC and wanted to, you know, get a bunch of subscribers and go to the top, I could have came in and started picking some fights with people like uh, Steel Worldwide, um, Fear, Jay Jones, Mr. Met. You know, I could have came in, found the guys who's got the best viewership, found the guys who are, you know, the most liked. And I could have come in and I could have said, fuck you to all them and screw you guys and all this shit. So that in the comments, people would see all, like, you know, who's this Reverend Godless guy? He's here. He's, you know, he's fighting with fear. He's fighting with Steel Worldwide. And then people would have made videos going, fuck Reverend Godless and, you know, all this shit and blah, 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 blah. You know? Like, that's a way that some people could come in and do some shit. And it's a way that some of these folks are doing it, you know? They're coming in. They're picking these fights with, you know, better, more well-known people. And they're hoping that by, by doing these fights, they're going to get more viewers, they're going to get more subscribers and shit. If that's what you're here for, if you're trying to come into the MLDC, the YTDC, and get so many subscribers that Google starts paying you and bullshit, <coughs> you're in the wrong motherfucking place. You need to start making video game videos, start doing some fetish shit where people are watching your videos, this ain't a community about that. This is a community about 
enjoying American made, American packaged, American distributed, and motherfucking American consumed products in glass 40 ounce containers. You know, and every now and then, you know, you got your aluminum containers. You know, some of you drink the, the, the plastic 40s. You know, fuck that, whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Around here, we drink out of glass. We drink out of the aluminum can. But I'm saying, the shit that just pisses me off to see the Menstrual Madman and, you know, these other folks that come in and they're like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna make regular MLDC videos. I'm gonna try to pick a fight with these dudes and try to make a name for myself like that and try to get everybody in here to you know hate me and come watch my videos and subscribe you know to see what I'm gonna do next fuck that enjoy the malt liquor if you can't entertain folks drinking the golden nectar of the gods this wasn't made for you, man. It's never about you. Never about you. Always about this. And that's what so many people forget. They come in, they're talking about the blueprint or the red, white, and blueprint. You know, the blueprint is there to protect yourself from yourself. We've heard it a million times. You know, we all have. But uh, it's never about the person consuming the malt liquor it is 100 percent always about the malt liquor and i think that's one of the first things that people forget when they come into this community you know they come in they spit the game they talk the same shit that everybody else is talking malt liquor label out you know didn't reggie it didn't drew it no door foam you know they say all the fuck yous they say all that shit but you know five maybe ten videos in it goes away from being about the malt liquor and goes more to them and what they're doing. When you make a proper malt liquor video, you're nothing but a co-star. The malt liquor is always the star of the video. It's as simple as that. Malt motherfucking liquor. You know, I don't wear a mask because I got this fucking high profile job and I don't want y'all to, you know, figure out who I am and get me fired from that job and all this stuff. No. I don't want this beautiful fucking facade that I have here to take anything away from this motherfucking malt liquor. I mean, I've got a glorious motherfucking beard that I could mesmerize each and every one of you motherfuckers. Especially you faggot motherfuckers that are into that shit. I mean, I got a beard that fucking huh, could win awards, you know? Got these beautiful blue motherfucking eyes, you know, that could just dazzle you. But I wear this mask to downplay myself so that the malt liquor uh can be first and foremost. Shout out to Farkas One. Malt motherfucking liquor. You know, it upsets me. You know, I was making two, three videos a night, uploading, you know, five, six, seven videos a week. Shit got busy at work. I've had to step back a little bit. And to see, you know, where this community has gone, you know, from three months ago to where it's at now, it's a bunch of whiny motherfuckers in here, you know? I mean, you gotta, you gotta thank God every day that fucking fear is still here. You gotta thank God that Jay Jones and uh, Mr. Met and Rock Bottom and Jay Vega and Huffy and Steel Worldwide 1 and 2 and Falstaff and all these people are still here to rein this motherfucker in because we got these upstarts coming in every day whining and bitching and complaining and talking bullshit you know about what's going on 
Fuck that shit, man. It's all about the malt liquor. We're rapidly approaching the swill in this glorious malt liquor video. So, you know, in parting words, what I'm telling you is, you can never put yourself ahead of the malt liquor. The malt liquor is why we're here. The malt liquor is what all the viewers are here for. You know, we're all here for the shit talk. We're all here for the, you know, the laughs and the fun and the joking and talking shit about other people. We're all here for that. But the main reason we're all here is for this right here. This glorious, beautiful, golden nectar that was sent down from heaven, from God, for us to enjoy so that hard-working Americans could take that golden nectar, put it in this beautiful 40-ounce glass container, package it up, ship it out, and let us Americans buy this and enjoy this so that we can cam up and make these videos. So just people, you gotta remember, it's never about you, but it's always about this. Malt motherfucking liquor. And we're not here to make these videos. You know, do them by the blueprint, do everything right, but then a couple months into your fucking MLDC career, you start talking about, oh, I gotta get these shout outs, I gotta get all these people, you know, I'm shouting you out, but you're not shouting me out. No, man. If you're worthy of a shout out, you'll get it. If you're not, you'll continue doing your shit until you figure out what you're doing wrong and you fix it and then all of a sudden it's like oh shit you know all these big time people are shouting you out you know what I'm saying <laughs> that's how it should be it shouldn't be oh well I shouted him out and I shouted him out and shouted him out but then they've done three videos and they haven't mentioned my name you know so now I'm gonna hate on them no man it's you know you get a shout out when you're worthy of a shout out or deserve a shout out. You know, and I'm not somebody that's got all the subscribers and I can say like, oh, you know, we should be shouting out this person or that person. No, I'm not that guy. I'm not. There's too many people, malt liquor gods, that are above me like, like Fear and Falstaff and Vega and Huffy and Jay Jones and all them people, you know. And the shout outs, when I watch a video from one of them dudes and I get a shout out, I'm like, fuck yeah, man. You know, I made an appropriate video. I did not try to downplay the malt liquor. They seen in my video, this dude is doing it the right way. He's following that red, white, and blue print. He's doing the shit the right way. That's why you get a shout out. It's not like, oh, well, you know, I made 10 videos and I shouted out uh, Mr. Met, so... I don't understand why he hadn't shouted me out in one of his, you know. We're not a bunch of whining bitches, you know. If you want to be a whining bitch, you take this Colt 45, you take it back to the store, return it, let a deserving person buy that malt liquor, and you pick you up a six pack or a four pack for, you know, sixteen, seventeen dollars of some fucking craft beer, you go home, you pour it all over your vagina, and then you drink one, and you bitch and complain in the video about it. You know, if you're whining about shit in MLDC, you might want to rethink your shit and join the CBDC. Because if you watch their videos from Flabby Arm and that Pacific Northwest cunt that don't do shit no more, or the big forehead Grabowski, or uh, what is it? Only one of them fucking craft beer people that I can even stomach to watch is Haystack. But, uh, if the MLDC ain't made for you, 
go and take your malt liquor back to the store so somebody else can enjoy it and get you a fucking craft beer. Malt liquor. There's the top right there. As you can see, the label on this 40 ounce glass container of malt liquor was in no way frauded, which means it was not regged. There is none of Dwarf's motherfucking foam, and there is none of Druid's fucking fluid. All I gotta say is, quit bitching, quit whining, make the fucking malt liquor the star of your video, and drink malt liquor.